Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Patch. It was a fine morning when Owl and Pooh decided to take a walk. Owl ruffled his feather in the warm air. The atmospheric conditions, he began. <laughs> Indeed, Pooh said. Owl went on, and the prevailing winds mean that it is now time for... Honey, Pooh interrupted. <laughs> Honey, said the owl impatiently. Pooh, you are a bear of little brain and too much tummy. I was talking about spring. Spring is the time of year when everything starts growing. I should say it's a good time for someone to eat honey, Pooh replied, especially me. <laughs> Owl continued speaking more loudly. Spring is the time for Rabbit to plant carrot seeds and for Piglet to plant cabbage plants. They can eat carrots and cabbages all year long. All year long, Pooh repeated. He had a lovely thought. Owl, do you suppose that if I plant one of my honey pots, it will grow honey? That sounds like a practical idea, Owl said. But then again, maybe it isn't. You see, Pooh. But Pooh wasn't listening. He was too busy thinking about a whole year's supply of honey at his very own honey patch. That afternoon, Rabbit strolled by Pooh's house and heard him inside pondering. This big one? That small one? I shouldn't waste the big one. But a small one won't grow much honey. Maybe I'll plant a middle-sized one. What are you planting? Rabbit asked. Owl has given me a practical idea, Pooh explained. I shall grow honey from a honey pot. That is a practical idea, Rabbit replied. I'll help you with it. So the two friends planted a middle-sized pot deep in the ground. Before long, Rabbit's carrots poked through the ground and Piglet's pl cabbage plants looked bigger. Pooh's honey pot, however, wasn't growing anything at all. Poor Pooh, I can't understand what's wrong, Rabbit told Piglet and Eeyore. Maybe we should talk to Owl. He knows the scientifics of uh, growing. But when they, asked Pooh, when they asked Owl what was wrong, he ruffled his feathers and looked cross. It wasn't my idea to grow honey from a pot. It was Pooh's idea, he exclaimed. Actually, I wondered from the beginning if it really was a practical idea. Poor Pooh, sighed Rabbit. Maybe we can make it work, Piglet squeaked in a very excited voice. When Pooh is sleeping, we can dig up the honey pot. Because perhaps if you look at it, Owl, you'll see what's wrong. I don't think, Owl began. But they all looked at him so hopefully that he stopped right there. That night, they crept carefully to the edge of Pooh's honey patch. Rabbit whispered, I think a very small animal should dig up the honey pot. Me? Squeaked. Piglet squealed softly. Unless you're afraid, Rabbit replied. Piglet marched bravely into the patch and began to dig. The deeper he went, the more the hole seemed like a place where a very large animal might come to rest in the dark. Thump! He struck something hard. He pulled and tugged. Suddenly the honey pot came free and Piglet tumbled over backwards. Help! cried Piglet, thinking a whole herd of very large animals was upon him. Look! The pot is broken, Eeyore said. Now we'll never know what was wrong. Somehow, Owl felt better. We must find another pot, Rabbit said firmly. I don't have a pot, but I do have a bucket I can spare, said Piglet. He hurried home with the others for company, and they carried the bucket back to Pooh's honey patch. I think, said Owl, but that... But what this honey pot needs is some sun and air and occasional rain. There are import they are important for growing. We'll fill up the hole and we'll put the bucket here on top. We'll see what happens. That is what they did. And that is why there was a bucket in the honey patch when Pooh hurried out the next morning. He wanted to see if anything exciting might have happened during the night. 
He stared at the bucket in astonishment. Think, 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 he said to himself. My honey pot didn't grow honey, but it did grow a bucket, a very fine bucket. And a bucket is most useful when it is filled with something sweet. Off he stumped into the woods to find something sweet to put in his bucket. He made up this hum to keep him company. If a bear in the summer, clankety, clankety, has a garden to sow, clankety, clankety, it's much better to sing, clankety, clankety, than to wait for his honey to grow. He wished Piglet was with him to sing the clinkety and the clankities. Piglet would like that. While Pooh was off collecting honey, Rabbit, Piglet, Eeyore, and Owl stopped by to see if the bucket had grown anything. It's gone, Rabbit exclaimed. First no honey, then no honey pot, and now no bucket. I knew it, said Eeyore gloomily. I could have guessed that this would happen. They were about to ask Owl what to do next when Pooh came out of the woods. Hooray, shouted Pooh, hurrying towards his friend. Company for breakfast. Pooh, Rabbit shouted back. You filled our bucket with honey. How wonderful. Your bucket, Pooh asked. Well, you're welcome to share, of course, but I did find this bucket growing here in my honey patch, and the handle makes it very useful for honey finding time. The others smiled while Piglet explained exactly how the bucket happened to grow in the honey patch. And then the friends all sat down together for a breakfast of honey. It's delicious, Piglet said, but honey is certainly easier to find than it is to grow. Wouldn't you say, Pooh? Indeed, said Pooh. I hope you've learned that growing honey in the garden is not a practical idea after all, said Owl. Still, with my knowledge of the atmosphere and the prevailing winds, indeed, said Pooh again, our spring planting has yielded quite a crop, Owl concluded proudly. Indeed, Pooh said once more, and he licked the last of the honey off his paws. The end. Bye.